In this video, we will see how we can find the dual to the given linear programming problem with the help of one more example. I have already taught one example in my previous video on how we can write the dual to the given linear programming problem. So if you have not watched that, and then I will suggest you to watch that first and then after watch this. The question is, find the dual to the given linear programming problem. Minimize z is equal to x1 plus 2x2 subject to the constraints. 2x1 plus 4x2 less than or equal to 160, x1 minus x2 is equal to 30, and x1 is greater than or equal to 10. And the non-negativity conditions are x1, x2 greater than or equal to 0. So let's get started. First of all, we'll convert this less than equal to to greater than equal to. And this equal to will convert it to greater than equal to and as well as less than equal to. We've converted this less than equal to to greater than equal to because it is minimization problem. So again we'll write this. Minimize z is equal to x1 plus 2x2. Right now we are writing the primal form. As we have to convert the constraints from less than equal to to greater than equal to and the equal to constant will convert it to greater than equal to as well as less than equal to. So the rule is same that when we are converting this sign then we'll multiply this on both the sides with minus 1. So now it will be minus 2x1 minus 4x2 greater than or equal to minus 160. And the second one I'll write it as x1 minus x2 greater than or equal to 30 and x1 minus x2 less than or equal to 30. But here I need the greater than equal to sign. So again we'll convert this by multiplying minus 1 on both the sides. So it will become minus x1 plus x2 greater than or equal to minus 30. And the last one is x1 greater than or equal to 10. And again we'll write this x1 x2 greater than or equal to 0. Now we'll convert this to the dual form and we know that while converting to the dual form it will be minimize to maximize and z is equal to it will be zy is equal to sigma bi yi. All these things I have already explained in the previous video so you please just watch that first. So now we'll be writing this. What's our bi? Then our bi is minus 160, then 30, then minus 30, and 10. And with that, we'll write it as y1, y2, y3, and y4. So it will be minus 160y1 plus 30y2 minus 30y3 plus 10y4. Then subject to the constraints, it will be ajy sigma ajy yi less than or equal to cj. And here cj, that is the coefficient of the objective function, coefficient of the decision variables of the objective function. Now we'll write our first constraint and for that we'll see this, the coefficients of x1. So all the coefficients of x1 you will see here the coefficients are minus 2, 1, minus 1 and 1 and for that it will be y1, y2, y3 and y4. Firstly write this and then after we'll change the signs. So here it will be minus 2y1 as the first coefficient of x1 is minus 2 then the second coefficient of x1 is 1 so it will be plus y2 then the third coefficient is minus 1 and the last one is plus 1 so it will be plus y4 and this will be less than or equal to 1 and the second constant will be less than or equal to 2 because I already said that it will be less than or equal to cj then again the same thing, we'll write this y1, y2, y3, y4 and then we'll change the signs by writing the coefficients of x2 and the coefficients of x2 are minus 4, minus 1, 1, 
and 0. Then finally you will write this as y1, y2, y3, y4 greater than or equal to 0. But here we won't end this because we'll convert this y2 minus y3 to y. That is here we'll suppose that y2 minus y3 is equal to y. Firstly just let me suppose this y2 minus y3 is equal to y. And then this objective function will change as minus 160y1 plus it will be 30 in bracket y2 minus y3. And so I directly wrote this as 30y and plus 10y4. Then subject to the constraints, here again with Wherever there is y2 minus y3, we'll change it and take it as y. So it will be minus 2y1 plus y plus y4 less than or equal to 1. Then this will be minus 4y1 and here what you can do, you can take this minus sign common and you can write this as y2 minus y3 so it will be, it will be minus y plus 0 y4 less than or equal to 2 why we did this because we had one equality constant in the question our second constant was equality constant and that is why we'll have to write that y being unrestricted in sign that is why we took this y2 minus y3 as y and this will be y1 y4 greater than or equal to 0. So this is how you can find the dual to the given linear programming problem if you have equality constraints given in the question. And if you want my handwritten notes, then you can visit my website. You'll find the link in description. Thank you.